This may be inspired by Thomas K4SWL, but I got a Coleman folding table and I brought enough stuff out to get on the air. The antenna is not elaborate. It's a 20 meter ham stick and an old power cable with some clip leads on it for, a, for some kind of a ground or something to work against. So I'm gonna send CQ again. You can see the first time I did it, I'm on the reverse beacon network and uh, I got a pretty strong signal back of 24 dB uh, for a distance of 1200 miles from, let's see, somewhere in British Columbia, sorry about that. And we're gonna do it again and see what happens. So we'll listen a little bit, see if anybody answers the CQ or if the RBN picks up one more station that's monitoring. And it is nice to have a couple of memories in the K1. And the MFG portable tuner gives me a way to have forward and reverse power so I could tune up with the mobile whip pretty easily. And uh, I just picked this battery up not long ago. Actually, it's gonna go in one of the K2s, but there are uh, two more signals. One more in British Columbia and one looks like in Washington State or on the border of Oregon there. So no problem getting signal out with a really crappy antenna. And that might have been a call, but it was super weak. Let's see. So we send QRZ with a question mark and see if they will come back again. Open up the filter a little bit and see. Looks like it wasn't for me. So we'll give one more call. Let's see what we have. So we have four four spots from W6YX K2P0 slash 7 VE6WZ and VE6JW for distances of 11, 558, 1068, and 1217 miles. And it's unique that the strongest signal is actually the longest, so the band must be uh, at a thousand or more miles distance at this point. Let's try one more and see if we can get an answer. I'm not sure exactly why it emptied the screen for the spot, so I may... Let's see if I can figure that out. Oh, they're back. Okay, so we got... Yeah, we still have four. So no replies back, but we're definitely getting out there. So there should be somebody in Oregon, Washington, Canada, something like that. So maybe it's the speed problem. So we're gonna slow down. That was 14. We'll slow down to 10 and see if that will make somebody respond if 10 is a better speed. And a whole bunch of people have contacted me and said they have their radio and they have learned some characters, but they're still afraid to get on CW. So we're going to try a 10 word per minute. If that doesn't work, we'll try five and see if we can get an answer here.
and we are at 14.052.0 and you can see when we transmit that the meter is reaching about a watt a little bit but we're getting all the way to British Columbia so I think we're okay so we have a few more spots they're pretty consistent in direction they're all pretty much a line of sight one direction except the one call up into Northern Oregon Anyway, that's six minutes of no calls back. So we did uh, 14 words per minute, and we did 10 words per minute. We'll do just one last one at five words per minute and see if that helps. I'm not sure if I could copy five words a minute. It looks like the key only goes down to eight, so we'll try eight. I may have heard somebody there in the full break-in. I'm not sure if I hit a call or somebody off frequency. I'll check that in a sec. So we'll interrupt it after my call sign and see if they call back. Looks like not even at eight words per minute today. So we still have, now we have, uh, we have seven spots. So it's not for not having a signal out there, but we'll say this Friday afternoon at 5.45 p.m. isn't the time to get a call back. So thanks for watching, see ya.